Hello and welcome to part 42 of the Build Diary, otherwise known as what 6x9. Uh, if you saw part 41, you'll probably realise why I took over a month off. This project can be quite um, wearing mentally when bits of wood decide to obey the rules of gravity than they do the rules of stay there you bastard and be part of the project, not to put too fine a point on it. Um, but I'm back, I'm in a reasonably good mood, so I thought I'd risk dinting that good mood by working with wood again. Uh, so, where we left things was basically me having to think on my feet, because I wanted to make some progress last time, even though the wood was working against me. And so we were essentially, and are still essentially, a couple of steps away from finishing the final corner post. I'd finished the underside, well, in working with it terms, of this corner post, and then you flip it over, and then it's essentially like going from working in 2D to working in 3D, and you're suddenly having to persuade bits of wood that are barely a centimetre across to glue onto other bits of wood and those bits of wood do not want to stay in one place as you saw last time so yeah I thought on my feet and instead of doing the piece of wood that's slap bang right next to the edge of uh, the rest of the corner post I thought well, we'll do the one that sits next to it so I had a go covered it in glue, covered it in clamps. We reached a sort of moment of truth moment because uh, I have dragged it out of storage still covered in clamps which I wouldn't normally do but I trust this join so little that I am prepared to let you uh, dear YouTube audience uh, bear witness to the moment of truth when they are removed. Uh, so let's get on with that and then hopefully we'll be able to do what I was trying to do last time. Not that it will be any easier. It's still a fiddly task because now you're talking about getting a piece of wood that's stuck next to an existing piece of wood to stay into place. But we may be able to pull the trick of um, gluing three-dimensionally, gluing beneath it and then gluing beside it. So then that way we can fix it down to a degree, but also we can fix it across and into its friend that's already there. This one on the end has already started coming loose, so... realise it's going to throw the whole centre of gravity of this the moment I get these off. So keep a close on. Oh, we're all right. I say that. Very active taking this one off. It's So they came off, good news, they came off without the wood falling off, bad news, apart from this end, there's a rather hideous um, warp in this wood, but we're just going to have to work with that. So let's get its friend and uh, try and get that affixed. Thank you. 
So yeah, this one already in place is the four inch wire piece. And this one that completes the larger bits of wood to have to go into place is the three inch wire one. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Is at least reasonably flush to the edge. Definitely going to have to push it down in places because it's riding up. So, fun and games. So for every one I put pushing in, I'm definitely going to have to put one nearby or nearby ish pushing down. Most of them I think are going to have to be pressing down, but I am going to try to have some pushing in so it is held better. You need it to be pushed in again. See, it's going to be very fun to stall. <laughs> All these clamps going in so many different directions now. Here it clearly needs pushing down. I just wish I had more clamps. I sort of have, but my spare supply of them are somewhat heftier. Actually, this would be a better for, spot for pushing down on. I am trying to major on ones that are pushing down. Way, way far from ideal. Time for a few extra clamps, methinks. I thought I had five of these. I've only been able to find four of them, but 
That will at least help matters. You can see very quickly where it's going to need more horizontal pressure. Yeah, we'll try and major on using these to push inwards because I can see several gaps where it's not pushing against that. One big gap left looks at this end. So there is where we're going to have to leave it for now and I've got a busy few weekends ahead of me what with uh, London Film and Comic Con, Strangeness in Space, Steampunk Convivial in Surrey all piling on top of each other between next Friday and next Sunday uh, weekend after that I'm having a little break in London I should be free to work on this again on unlucky for some the 13th of August because uh, I'll be meeting friends in London the day before but that particular weekend's feeling pretty free so that's where we're leaving it for now